Hey, you're a slender man's monster, ain't ya? Hello, my geeky guys and gals. Welcome to Devotion. I'm your host, Mars Geek. This is an early access demo. As you can tell by the little corner down here, version 0.2.2. This is a game I found out on the old Game Jock web client, uh, game client thing. Looks really cool on the thumbnail, and its description was really good. You play the little Amanda girl, and you got a letter from your daddy inside that hotel, and you're compelled to go there and find out what's going on. An interesting thing to find that I found out about this game, though, is it's got Steam Greenlight on there, so it does have a page on Steam Greenlight. Even though I got this from Game Jolt, so I'm going to be putting links to the both uh, both links in the description below, both for the Game Jolt version where you can download this demo and the steam green light so hopefully it's gonna turn out good in that case new game let's get the spook on now just like with any other my dear come to our old hotel tonight i'll be waiting for you william h june, uh, june 19th 2016 yeah we're only well eight months late it's now march 2017 Ooh. Graphics are good. I just got up and boost. Now, like just with any other um, horror game demo, I don't know how long it is, and I do intend to play it all the way through. Come to salvation! Oh. That looks like the Creative Assembly logo. I got me a flash of light. That's good. You're all over the place. Is creative Assembly part of this game? I mean, Alien Isolation is all good now, but didn't know they were into all the indie hot, mind you. Technically, you could say that Alien Isolation is an indie game because oh, it's C to crash, not control. I got it. Because I, I don't think I've ever heard of a Creative Assembly game prior to Alien Isolation. You never know. Right, now we are at the gates. Hotel Marshal. It looks like a church. Hi. Wrong number, Dominoes. Hey, what's up? Oh, Jeff, all right. I just want to know if you'll be free this weekend. No. Nope. Jeff. Amanda, what's wrong? I'm glad you called. What you don't happened? sound it. I received a letter today from my dad. That's impossible. He's been gone for five years. Missing isn't the same as dead. It's been a long time. You're going to have to let go sooner or later. The letter asked me to head to the old hotel of the family in the woods. You're not considering going there, right? No, I'm already I'm here. I'm already here. <laughs> You're gonna walk into a trap. You made enemies with the wrong people. I know. I've never been so scared, but it might actually be my dad. I have to go there and find out. No, you don't. You're clinging to a ghost. I won't let you walk in there. Too I'm late. heading away now. Too bad he didn't show as much care when I gave him the chance. Oh, Jeff's a boyfriend. So I need to have a look around and see if there's any secret or easter bags. Oh, maybe another way in. I don't know. Let's try the front door. That voice acting. Meh. Not the best I've heard. But certainly not the worst either. I mean, at least it's someone where they've... Oh, locked. So I guess that was the right way to go down there anyway then. But yeah, certainly not the worst. I have played a few horror games where the acting wasn't all that great. There you go, you can also get some really terrible voice acting in the AAA titles as well. A few audio bugs coming up. Blowing! <coughs> but, uh, yeah, that one... Uh, can't say it's the best, can't say it's the worst. It's mediocre at the best. Ooh, we found the stairs. Find a looking stairs, to me it must, looks more like a door. In we go, into the breach. What are we going to see? We're going to see Creative Assembly all over again. We don't want to be going back outside. Here I am. Home sweet home. I just wish I could go back to a happier time. Okay, so either, this is either a hotel or a church. Or a converted church into a hotel. Either way... Home sweet home? Really? That's first floor, that's... 
That'd be ground floor. So what's down there? We've got basement, obviously. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna go down there. Uh, left click and drag to move boards. Okay. Something is blocking this door. Big ass cat. That's probably what it is. Oh, they. I'm just going to drag these boards because the board's stiff. Um, what is it? Left click or? Oh yeah, left click. Click and hold. Click and hold. Show us your powerful muscles, Amanda. I've just made the connection. It's creative assembly. Who's the main protagonist in Alien Isolation? Amanda Ripley. Da da da. This is Amanda Ripley now in the twentieth century. No, twenty-first century, not the twenty-second century. Jesus, oh. This is how she started. This is how she joined up to the Space Corps thing and went out into space. Even somehow before her mother went into space. Oh, making things up. It's got a shift to run. That's good. So it's uh, good to have a shift to run. You never know when you need a shift to run. I do sometimes run so bad I shit and run. That's a different thing. Hello. Ooh, we got a, ooh, it's a Silent Hill type of map. Map acquired. Press M to open it. Alright. This is so Silent Hill. Does that mean that there's going to be corridors blocked off and we're just going to be screwed in with a little red marker sharpie thing? Some of these doors are probably going to be locked as well. Dad? No, Dad. it's a painting, Amanda. They're quite nice paintings, though. It won't budge. What has he got there? Nothing. I don't think the pictures are actually. You know what? No, it doesn't mark them off. What was that? There's there the thing waking up. Okay, stairs B and A. I'm guessing I came from stairs. B, because we had those two there, and then that went up there. And this little place will lock it off. You can't go down there. More bars. What do you mean, more bars? How can you say it's more bars? We haven't even come across the first set of bars yet. Yeah, you can't lock, um, update the map. It's locked. Do I have an inventory? No, I don't. Okay, so we just gotta wing it. Okay. So I know that we're in a hotel, although I think it's a converted church, and there's spooky noises than her. Hi. Do we anybody in here? There's a lot of bars. More bars. That one now does make sense. He's going to move the bars. Two, one, four. Okay. Those bars are blocking the path. I need to find another way. There's something down there. It looks like some kind of um, altar or something. <coughs> yep, the only one door that's available is left. It's unlocked. It's a howly wind. Jonathan Cipro, age 20, hometown, Las Vegas, Nevada. Weekly report, number one, date. That date. I don't even know that if we're in American date or British date. I am reborn. You leave those doors alone. Reading, men. While wandering aimlessly through life looking for some meaning, Mr. Hawksworth has come to me and given me a reason to believe better days are to come. He brought me to this place. It was once a hotel, but now it houses my hopes for a better future. So it's a hotel converted to a church? He gave us these sheets so we can write our thoughts each week. He didn't tell us why, but he doesn't have to. He claims that as long as we follow his steps and never leave the safety of this church. <coughs> Fucking pick up that phone and call the president, because I call that son of a bitch. He claims that as long as we follow his steps and never leave the safety of his church, we will ascend to paradise once our earthly story has come to an end. I chose to follow him and enter his church. Cool. This is a glyph. Creative assemblies glyph. Oh, hi. Ooh. Interactable physics things. Neither doors open. 
Ah, that's a pleasant picture. It kind of reminds me <laughs> of, um, what was it called? Until Dust? That was a weird little indie horror game. About Dust? Until Dust? Oh, I can't remember. I know I've got it on the channel. I think if I can remember it, I'm going to put the link to that video in the description because that was weird as all balls. A lot of fire, a lot of dust, real ass creature. Bugged out towards the end, but it's still fun. So, oh, I've got a. Oh no. I've got a key. Oh, squeeze on me. He collapsed, uh, attacking me again. No, so I got a key, but pressing tab or I, the common keys for an inventory system, they don't bring anything up. So I'm a guessing that the key will activate automatically, and the locked door will open. There we go. Fucking hell, that's loud. Okay. Spoopy noises! Anybody in here? Weird radio noises. Okay. This my old grandfather's ticking, but the time is stuck at 3.02. Now, I'm going to be meaning for something. Now, I'm going to be through a poodle. A poodle poodle. Can't interact with any of the chairs. I can't get past the pa oh, okay, I can. Never mind. Yeah, I can't get past the chairs because the glued down to the floor with some kind of super strength industrial glue thing. But I can walk around them. I bet some monster's gonna come through here and I gotta run my ass off through. Okay. <coughs> Squeeze on me. So that happened just as I saw the welcome back. Yeah. We can't move the chairs. Hi. The father. Daddy? Isn't that why you're here? No. Not my daddy. How do you know that? I know everything about you, Amanda. Everything. It's G-Man from Half-Life. He's gotten a lot younger since his last days. Okay. So he's watching me Big Brother style. I hope he doesn't watch me while I'm in the shower. Fucking pervert. Ooh, he's loud. Can we go in the vents in isolation style? No, we can't. We are grounded. Okay. So what is objective? We know we've got to find our father. Yeah, to find our father, but don't know. What the final objective is. This is stairways A that we can't interact with that, so that's a dud. Yeah, we've got it, we've already got the map. Nothing updates, so we are here by stairs A, so we gotta go through here and find something. Um actually pondering of the map, we got WCs there, we got a couple of water closets. Don't know what Hi? Okay, probably a dead moth falling to the floor. So I don't know what those rooms are, or what that room is, but we've got storage A, stairs A, storage B. So the question is, what are those rooms for, and why have we got a big square in the middle? And i got something here. Nah, it's nothing. Alright, never mind. So, do you know what to do? All we gotta do is go on the rails, follow it through to the very end. My singing is terrible, so. Don't trust him. Yeah, I don't trust any ghost really that tries to jump scare me with a falling picture. Gotta do better than that. We'll throw these amnesia style. No, nope. everything's stuck down with that old wonder glue. Ooh, elevator matron. Can't access the fuse boxels. There's no power. Okay, is that objective then? We gotta turn on the power and then run away from something while the power's turned on. I 
bet that's going to be the thing. I would imagine probably down there, so that's probably where the elevator metron was. And looking at all the circular parts, I'm guessing chase, especially when we got to run. Let's go to the creepy flashy light! Right, five o'clock. Each interest. That was stuck at 9.30. 3.02 and 9.30. What does that mean? Oh, we made it. It is an auto. Weird ass painting. That's significant. Wait, hold on. No, that can't be the same one. Because we've got a big block thing there. And they've got the bars here. No, that's not the same one. Never mind. Derpness strikes again. Don't know where I'm going. Yeah. Boxes there. Yes, we ain't going through there. Need run to budge. No shit. Okay, what about that? Okay, someone's creaking on the on the old hammock there. Oh that one can. Hello? She's in the bed. Did you see that? Um. Yeah, game developers, that's not how shadows work. That is not how shadows work. There's no light on there. Okay, so I'm gonna have a look around and see if there's anything else that might throw off a weird shadow like that. At least we can check all the drawers, which is good. Can we check the clue, is it? Interact. Oh! We're inside it! Okay. So we are going to be cha- Okay, if you could shut the fuck up. We are going to be chased by something. That. To me, that's from all my previous horror, horror game um, knowledge comes from. If you can hide, if you can run, your ass is going to be chased. Anything else in these drawers? Probably like a gun. Be handy. I mean, yeah, I can understand why you wanted to come to this hotel, Amanda. You want to come for a lot for dear old papa? Yeah. I noticed that door before. I must be going psycho crazy nuts bonkers. Oh, there's a keypad. Two, three, four. It's a five digit code. Um, no zero. Okay, so we gotta find a code. Right. This will might take me some time then, my geeky guys and gals. I was kind of hoping that we could run through all this all in one go, but the chances are probably not. So, let's go back. Back to where it all began in the start. You see, there's no zero. That was stuck at 9.30, so I doubt that the clocks is going to be part of the code. We've got to find a... Well, I was going to say computer terminal, but I've not seen any evidence of such a thing, so more than likely it's going to be written in blood. Or maybe some busted-ass flowers. Boy, let's... Anything spoopers in here? Nope, that one's blocked off. Nothing in the crapper. Nothing in that one. Okay. I didn't want to go in here anyway. I think that was the man's one. I shouldn't have been in there. I'm a lady. Should not go in the men's toilets. That's not how you pick up men. I mean, well, you could do. But I doubt they're going to be interested in anything else. Okay. Why would there be a door just into another room like that? That would... 
completely, you know, destroy any sense of privacy at all. That is not a good. Still won't budge. Okay. Check the piece of paper. Paulo Mia, age 40, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. When I first came to this country, I believed in a... Yeah, whatever. I believed a better life awaited me. But reality has betrayed me. Until one day, a man came to me and fed me what I must desperately store. Hope. Was that the G-man from the TV earlier? Mr. Hawksworth wants wants to lead us to paradise. I'll take his hand and trust him with my afterlife. I am certain that this church will offer me the salvation I seek. All of the other brothers seem as thrilled as I am. I can feel the warmth of the cre creator's touch already. It's not the leader from the Simpsons. That I do know. Here's the leader. Here's the one. Da 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 da. Whatever the song goes. Da 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 da. Leader. Da 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 da. Leader. That's the way it goes. Yeah, that one won't badge as well. Is this the one? Yeah, this is the place. This is place, all right. Ooh. Have we got a Freeman, uh, Gordon Freeman up this shit? Come on, game, really. Falling painting and a moving chair. That's the best you can do for me, doing for spoops. I've played fucking Paranormal. I've played Outlast. I've played Alien Isolation. You gotta do better than that. You gotta kick it up. A notch. She's coming for us. This one? Nope. So it's gonna be in that one. So I'm gonna check that shortly. Name Richard McGrath. No relation to Rory McGrath. Age 50. Hometown Detroit, Michigan. I lost my job, my house, and my family. The thought of choosing the easiest way out to end my torment came to my mind more than I'd care to admit, but it all changed when Mr. Hawksworth approached me on a freezing night of winter. With a smile on his face, he handed me a bowl of boiling hot soup. That was the coldest night of the century, and if it weren't for him, I'd certain I would have frozen to death. He told me about his plan to build a church and with the smartest, most capable people, and he asked me to join. I took his offer, and here I am now, waiting to be reborn. Okay, this to me really is smacking so much more of that episode of The Leader with The Simpsons. This Mr. Hawksworth, probably the guy on the TV, is doing some kind of... cult, if I may dare say. Trying to get people to follow him. No, that's just Twitter. Okay, never mind. But anyway, he's trying to create this um, religion of some kind, get people to follow him. Um, maybe he's going to be doing some kind of weird ass experiments. Maybe he's just tapped in the head. She's coming for us. Yeah. Okay. I'll turn it off. Okay. It's stuck. Oh, the drawer's stuck. Okay. Uh, is that it? Really? Nothing else. So that's it. The music. Is this where the spoops are now going to happen? Boom! Oh! Yep, yeah, it is. Oh, well, of course. And it's turned red. Is anyone here? And it's the Antichrist cross. Oh, the key. The key room 205. Okay. That's a little bit loud. So there's 205. Ugh. Where is we anyway? I guess we're at this. We've got to run all the way back. I think that's blocked off, so we've got to go around there. Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of that music. That is, like, really freakishly loud. Can you shut the fuck up with that? I must call Jeff. Alright, fine. We're in a horror situation, you know, and weird-ass creepy music, but... Jeff, yeah, I'm in the hotel. Call Jeff. There's something wrong. What did they do to you? 
They aren't here, but no I saw either. a man. He said he knows everything about me. I told you not to go back to this place. Why won't you ever listen to me? Because you're a douche ass ex-boyfriend, and I don't love you anymore. It gave me hope. I'm almost there. I'll pick you up, and everything will be all right. I'm not leaving. It's not gonna happen. What? Whoever sent that letter knows about my dad. I will she, get to the bottom of this. His voice acting, yeah. If you didn't want my help, why did you call me? You're the only one I have left in my life, and there's something wrong going on. Please, don't come here. Don't put yourself in harm's way. Nonsense. I'll get there and get you out, whether you like it or not. I have my gun with me if things go south. Sorry, I, I don't mean to diss it. The developers have obviously put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this game because it looks fucking phenomenal. Oh, squeeze on me. That voice acting. Nonsense. Should I put some more effort into it, man? Okay. We skill done. Um, this way, right? Pretty sure. Oh, hi! Monster time! Is just gonna disappear like that? What in the world was that thing? Something not good. He wants to come and give you a kiss. Did you get the drone there? 205, no. No, no, this is 205 up here. Fucking sweet! Got to it straight away. Close that door because I don't want anything coming in. He's gonna come up on the TV, ain't he? Okay, what's this? Oh, 84925. 84925, okay. That's the code. Where was that door again? Um, not there. This one, storage A? Nothing actually here. Or is that just like a little cutscene thing? I'm going to smack my face with a door. Okay, right. I came up that way. So I'm going to try storage A again. Right where well, the creature will be, probably, maybe, undoubtedly, going to crunch my bones. Is he there? Coming for me. What was that code? Fuck! Why would they put the um, closets right there in the only rooms that we can go in? All right. Eight, four, nine, two, five. Fliege Bloppel! Got it! Oh, that, this is reminding me of um, case animatronics. There's a fucking one room in there where there's just a storage area. That's why it's called storage room A in here. Duh. That fucking game really freaks me out, man. I really want to get back to the game, but like I say, it's just nuts. Don't like being around to have to go back and forth all the time. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood, and without shedding of blood is no remission. Okay. Oh, the Gotham Freeman crowbar. Cool. Can't remember which door that was for. I know it's the one with the boards on it, obviously. Hmm. But where the fuck did you come from? You think you going to start something, boy? Hmm. I'm fucking putting my dukes for you. I got a crowbar. Yeah, hell raisers, baby, ain't ya? Yeah, you got all the nails in your head. You're hell raisers, baby, all right. Okay, you just stay the fuck there. You weird ass thing. Okay, stay there, boy. Still there, good. Aye! Right. I'm a gun. Oh, oh, shit! Okay, okay. Sneaks in here. Sneaks in here. Okay, no, turn the light off. Okay, probably saw me coming here. Yep, yeah, there it is. 
Hey, you're a slender man's monster, ain't you? I like your big glowing eyes, but I don't like the things on your arms. Yeah, nothing here. The door to the storeroom closed, though. I tried to go back in there, and it weren't having it. Okay, you go bye bye now. I'll pack off. You, you, you can see you got a little bit of asthma going as well. You, may, you might want to get yourself a little inhaler. So the music are key to the thing now as well. The closer it is. He might still be in the room. Oh, they're coming. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming back. So recheck this room. Let's make sure it's still empty. They'd be like, why is this door closed? I'm sure I opened this earlier. Is it gone? Is the music an actual thing to it? Okay. If he's only staying by in that corridor, it traps me straight away. Yeah, the music gets louder when it gets close. Ah, right, yeah, you're back. You didn't know not anything different about that door, fella? Yeah, no, just closes on by itself. I mean, I come across that many times in many different games. It, it, it's just like magic doors. You just a little twitch there as well. I got it. I mean, it's a bit of a cold night. Bad twitch, yo. Okay. So if he goes into a room, could I sneak by him? Come. Back off. There we go. Uh, run! Run. Run. <laughs> Dick! Oh, he didn't hear me running past him. He did not hear a thing. I'm like, this bloody wasn't here before. Now was that creepy ass fucking doll thing? Now, where's this... Roo, um, door with... A... There we go. I just needed to follow the blood. Crunk it, crack it, and smack it. The next one is a bop it, and then you dink it, and then you lose the game because you throw the fucking thing against the wall for being so stupid. So you got 302, half 9, and 915. I don't mean anything. The monster still sounds like it's close. Okay, I'm gonna follow the blood. Probably a bad idea. The life of the flesh is in the blood, and I've given it to the, you upon the altar to make one atonement for your souls. To make an atonement for your souls. Okay. Won't budge. I just want to check other doors first in case I miss something, because you never know. And I'm bad at this. I always like to explore. As long as that freaky ass thing doesn't come for me. Okay. None of the other doors will do anything. Alright. It won't budge. Silent Hill style. Okay. Are you my papi? Um. Uh, fucking hell. Alright, Jeff. Good timing. Good evening, my dear. You. Jeep man again. How did you get my number? <coughs> I had your phone. I read all of your texts. Ah, so. What a story, I must say. Leave Jeff out of this. What do you know about my dad? Pervolet! Pervolet! Given the circumstances, I think you should be more concerned about what happened to your mother. What? what? <laughs> no. Okay. If you like this demo, please support us on Steam Greenlight. Yeah, definitely. That looked pretty good. I mean, um, voice acting. That, I, I, I am going to be honest, it was mediocre. It, it did sell the story of the game, but it wasn't um, giving you the, the sense of dread, the sense of 
um, needed to be pushed on. Oh, come on, main menu. Never mind. Take that off him. I'm just still gonna do it. Yeah. So I can't think when I got the music playing. But yeah, the, the voice acting. It didn't give me that sense of dread, that sense of purpose for going forward. It's like, yeah, you're in danger. Oh, nonsense. That kind of thing. So, it, it, it didn't sell it too well as to the urgency of the situation that you was in. You needed to be able to emphasise the situation. Um, I know that my commentary in video games is not the best in the world. I'm surprised that I've got 100 fucking subscribers as it is already. But you need to be able to emphasise the situation. Just like, you're in trouble, get the fuck out! And I can't shout too loud because my kids and the partners in the room next door are sleeping, trying to sleep. She's probably going to clip her ear when I wake up in the morning. But that's another story. So you got to emphasise the situation better, not just like trying to make it sound like you're reading from the script. Amanda is in the room, there is a monster behind us. Ooh, ah, run, get out, that kind of thing. It's, to me, it just really didn't sell it. The graphics, though, were good. They were really good. And I like the, the idea in games whereby the situation, the, the rooms that can change, the, the, the whole idea that things can be moving on their own. They're not entirely over that spooky if you actually see something moving, like the paintings falling off or the chairs moving. It's not my thing. It doesn't spook me at all. I've played far too many horror games now to be able to see that that's an actual scary thing. But to see that doll though, that were good. That were really good and it was genuinely creepy because it had the fucking nails in the head. It's like Hellraiser's baby. Um, those kind of things are good. Uh, not the kind of horror play that likes overuse of jump scares where it's like BAM horror uh, jump scare. BAM horror jump scare. Bang! Horror jump scare of two minutes, and I'm glad to see that this game didn't follow that suit. It could so easily have done that. It could so very easily have done that. With so many doors, so many paintings, uh, especially the the hall where you had all the chairs, you could do a shit ton of fun in there with jump scares. But I'm glad that the developers didn't go along that path. So to me, that was a very interesting game, and I would love to see this developed more fully. Uh, the ambient noise was good. It saw the aura of the place. The, you, there was nothing too good about the place. There was something not quite right. The, it was erred in mystery. The body on the table towards the end. It was, like, it, to me, it looked like really stock. But, again, because it's an alpha version, I can't take that as a criticism. I'm only mentioning it though because of how good that the rest of the game looks. The blood, the pictures, the wallpaper, even the monster itself. Everything looked so in place. But then that one body right towards the end. To me it just looked like um, putting in that final touch as a hash touch, a rush touch, just to get a demo out to say look we're working on this. We are going to put things in place later on, but this is what's out there right now. So I hope that they do update that model for a future full-on release. But other than that, that is a really good game. Nice opening, puts you into the situation quite well. Um, didn't hold your hand. Nice simplistic controls. And yeah, I like that. Really good. So I'm going to put the links in the description. I got this on Game Jolt, which is the main link to get the download from. Um, I'm going to put the screen, uh, green light in there. I'm not sure if you can download it on Steam Green Light, but still, show the developers some love on Green Light and hope that they can get their ge uh, game, get their game on it with Steam because it's the best place to follow it. So, brilliant, cool, good game. GG. <coughs> Not GG for my throat though. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, my geeky guys and guys. If you liked it, smack the like button. If you didn't, smack the dislike button. If you do dislike, well, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what I can do to improve the videos just for you. Subscribe as always if you want to know when the next video is coming out and hit the little bell icon next to it to part of that notification squad. And I'll see you in the next video. So bye bye for now. Dominator. I have heard of another hotel opening up just down the road, it's called the Hotel Marshall Mathers LP, LP for Let's Play.